Your employees just want to be rewarded, recognized for who they are. AT&T, for example, has a great corporate program for their employees. Each and every one of them writes their own personal branding statement. They say who they are, what their strengths are, and what makes them happy. They then harness the power of that information to make sure that they go in the right place. We need a program and it needs to be accepted for your employees to broadcast to the universe their own personal brand. As Khalid say, it is time to get your hands up and start winning. Because this is the path that makes it happen. At Aya Healthcare, for example, it's completely appropriate for employees to raise their hand and say they want to switch jobs. By the same token, it's completely appropriate without repercussions for managers to interview employees from different departments. As a result, I remember one employee, for example. She was a financial analyst. She went from being numbers facing to customer facing. She is happier than she's ever been before. More importantly, Aya Healthcare didn't lose that employee they instead earned the trust and cemented the loyalty of that employee. It put her on that path to understanding who she is and for the company to harness her power. I like to say, who, who, who let the brand out? You better let the brand out because this is the time for us to not worry about the turnover, but look at what's right under our nose in these beautiful, magnificent employees. We want to harness all of that brain power because they're standing right in front of you. So what I say now is the time for personal branding and HR to stop the war. Instead, now is the time for peace.